And as we head into this new year, we hope to find out more about what led up to one of the deadliest mass shootings in the nation right here in Maine. And as we heal as a community, there are dozens of family members who are forever changed after their loved one was killed or injured in the shooting. New Center Maine's Jack Molmud sat down with the wife of Stephen Vazella, who was one of four members of Maine's deaf community who were killed. Hi, Jack. Hey, Sam and Chris, that's right. Well, more than two months after the shooting that killed 18 people and injured 13, Megan Vozella tells us she's ready to talk and share the story of her late husband, Stephen. Now, Stephen was passionate about his family and sports such as cornhole. That's what led him and several others to Schmengi's Bar on October 25th. Now, we asked Megan why now she's deciding to speak out and what issues she wants to see addressed. When everything transpired in October, and even you know just after that night, I, I really wasn't ready. I had so much grief, I had so much pain. I was really just not able to focus on anything except for what I was going through. And um, on October 26th, I was getting a lot of contact from news media and um, other outlets, and just really decided that I wasn't ready to speak out um, for a few weeks until I felt more confident and really, I guess, had the personal courage to speak out and how I was able to you know, process through and understand what happened that night. So it really took a long time for me to go through all of that by myself. And, you know, and also that amount of loss, it was very difficult. Um, as we learned more about the event and what happened, and it was just more and more um, grief and things that I had to come to terms with. So I, I needed to go through that and, and figure out and navigate my feelings. Um, farther away from the event, not immediately. You know, as, as the deaf community, we felt, you know, often we feel, and we did in this situation, that we were getting information kind of um, last. And there was a lot of mixed emotions about having access to information and communication, but also the extreme loss. And coming up on New Center Maine at 5.30 and 6 p.m., we will bring you more information about the life of Stephen Vozella and how Megan sees the future when it comes to preventing a mass shooting like this from ever happening again. Chris, Sam. All right. Jack, thank you. Jack, thanks very much.